over ten years. Ten Started years at the Carnarvon. Started at Carnarvon Castle. Keeps me fit. Keeps me fit. Do the same. Do the same. I come because I fancy his daughter. Loving loose. Very civilized. What a bitch, I get that. brother who was five years older than me it was his record collection that influenced me all the things in his record collection were you know i now realize are rhythm and blues we thought it was rock and roll get the music going and you take a few steps forward in this direction in time with the music let me show you then you turn around and tiptoe back do that again so you get confident about it and this time you do it with a little bit of a swagger. You know? It was the last week in November 1982. Our guitarist conned me to play in this pub. The gig went down well, and the landlord asked us to come back next week, and we've been coming back next week ever since. The reason I got this pseudonym is because uh, the record company I was with at the time decided the reason they weren't getting any hits with their artists because they all had normal names. So my then manager, a good friend of mine, I might add, christened me Wolfie, and I've been living with it ever since. To my head, to my head, to my head. Infamous Prince of Orange. He's a good cab driver, him didn't spill a drop all the way from Camden. Where's the way in? I've got my own beer! Bill, I don't want to put you off your shot, mate. But, but like I was saying, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Saccharomyces cerevisiae, yeah. But I just said it twice. Baker's yeast. Yeah, that's what that's known as. Baker's yeast, yeah. Now, carry on with your game. I could tell you about it all night, but... I'm glad it's full. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go away. I'll use this one. It's the nearest. I've been with the band for about five years now, and it's been great. Wolfie is a unique harmonica player. Strings his legs together beautifully, and whatever harmonica players I've played with before is certainly the best. Can I live without music? Well, to be honest, yeah, I could, because I don't really consider myself to be a musician. Musically challenged, I think you call it these days. But um, I have a laugh doing it. That's how I earn my living. Hey! Ah! I'll get paid for this as well, you know. Yeah, Wolfie, local hero, clown prince of R&B, plays the fool, makes people laugh. And my mother-in-law, she's always going on at me about why couldn't Jackie have married a nice clean-cut musician like that Nigel Kennedy that plays the violin, for instance. I mean, I don't know why. Do you know why? I could tell you why, Wolfie. But I'm not gonna. Wolf is my son-in-law. I don't know where I went wrong. 
How could my daughter Jackie marry him? Jazz? Yes. Classical? Okay. But rhythm and blues? Why? Why? Two jobs isn't a problem. I've been working for 17 years. I've been working at VVL for three years, and I've got it into a routine now that I can go home, have a social life, and go out with the band. So I'm happy doing that. Jackie's a great organizer, and at least there's one thing you can be assured of: when you finish playing, you don't have to hang about for your money. Wolfie would like to remember, be remembered as. Uh, helping people to enjoy themselves. Oh. There you go. Have a good time. The first time I ever saw Jackie, she didn't see me, I must add. I thought to myself, why haven't I got one of those? Wolfie and I have got the same ideas about life. I mean, we've been married for ten years. So we must be doing something right. We were like two magnets, you know, and it was only a matter of getting us close enough together before we joined. And uh, but really strong ones, you can't pull us apart. I'd like to introduce you to my father-in-law here, Bob. Jeff, isn't he? He's all right, isn't he? He will pick his nose, though. He's a pain in the arse. Why do they keep making this place summertime on every gig, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. Especially after, you remember when we were touting it around? All them record companies, all those A&R prats. The one I liked the best was the bloke who thought George Gershwin was a member of the band. Well, it won't be a hit. It's a very nice tune, but it won't be a hit. But if George writes any more, by all means, bring them back. We'd love to hear them. 